morning my dears hope you're all perfectly fine be aware of our situation now regarding coronavirus spread throughout the whole world so stick to the rules and stay safe at home i'm the english teacher of grade one miss neuron anwar and now we can start our revision sheet with page 10 question number four choose the right complete sentence Number 1 A. She told the dog B. She told the dog to sit C. She told Ok, so let's revise our conditions to judge the right complete sentence First So we know that at the first comes the the noun who made the thing or done the thing which is actually called subject yeah perfect okay and at the second place comes the the verb thank you okay and after the verb comes the object or the predicate good guys okay okay and if it's a question yeah the question word comes at the at the first then the subject bravo at the second place then at the third place comes what no actually the fourth okay the question word at the first place as it's the question right okay and number two comes the the verb and number three and if it's a question the first word gonna be yes the question word then the subject at the second place bravo and the third place gonna be the verb bravo perfect guys okay and the last thing in the question gonna be yeah the thing you're asking about or the object okay so so for example do the question word you the second place comes the subject like the verb at the third place banana which is the fourth thing the fourth place which is banana or the object which is the thing that you are asking about right good guys okay so this is the question form okay let's look let's give an example about the sentence form okay she this is the subject at the first place right told yeah this is the verb the dog the dog but did we know what did she tell the dog did it actually convey or give you an information about what did she tell the dog no right yes so if it said she told the dog to sit oh now you understood that oh she told the dog to sit right so is this a complete sentence guys yes so now let's solve our interesting exercise okay so a she told the dog b she told the dog to sit c she told a can we choose a guys yes exactly we didn't know what did she tell the dog perfect okay can we choose b yeah of course we know who told the dog which is she and what did she tell the dog which is to sit and what did she do she told the dog to sit right perfect guys you are perfect okay so the right answer gonna be b and of course guys notice that we can choose number c right because she told it's not a complete info yeah we know who told but do we know what did she tell anything about what did she tell no right okay let's see number two choose the right complete sentence two okay the boy ran to b the boy c the boy ran to the store okay can we choose number a guys did we know where the boy ran to did we know where the boy run to 
No. Okay, number B. Can we choose it? The boy. Did we know anything about the boy? No. Okay, let's see number C. The boy ran to the store. Oh, who ran? The boy ran to where? To the store. What did the boy do? Ran to the store. Oh my god, it's a complete sentence, right? Right, thank you. So, the boy ran to the store is a complete right sentence. Bravo. Okay, so the right answer is going to be C. Okay, number three. Choose the right complete sentence too. So, A, but can. Do we know what does but can? Do we know what can but do? No, we don't know. Okay, so we can't choose this. Number B, but can fit. Do we know where can but fit? No, we don't know. Okay, so we can't choose this too. Let's see number C. But can fit in a cup. Oh, so where can but fit? Bravo, in a cup. Who can fit? But, bravo. So, we have a complete picture of the sentence, right? Yeah, so but can fit in a cup. Bravo, guys, you're perfect. Okay, so, the, of course, the right answer going to be number C. Okay, let's see number four. Choose the right complete sentence. But digs. Do we know? Where does he dig? No. Number B. But digs in the mud. Oh, now we know where does he dig? Oh, yeah, we know. Okay, do we know who is digging? Oh, yes, we know. So, this is a... Yes, this is a complete sentence. Good, guys. So, this is what? Perfect. Okay, so can we choose see, guys? Perfect. No, of course. Because in the mud doesn't give you who or what, what's happening in the mud. Right? Yeah, good guys. Okay, so let's get to number five. A, but hops. B, in the top. C, but hops in the top. Okay, number A. Can we choose number A, guys? Yeah, we do know. Where does he hop? Perfect. Okay, now can we choose number B? Of course, we do know. Really, we really exactly. Good guys. Really, we do know who is hopping in the top. Or we do not know anything about in the top, like what's happening in the top. So it doesn't give you a complete information. Okay, let's see number C. But hops in the top. Oh, so who is hopping? Oh, who is hopping? But we're in the top. Bravo. So is it a sentence? Yes. So number five. Right answer going to be C. Good guys. Okay. Now let's get to number six. Choose the right complete sentence. Number A, but can. B, sits with us. C, but sits with us. So, if we choose number A, do we know what can but do? No, we don't know anything. Okay, let's see number B. Sits with us. Do we know who is sitting with us? No, we do not know. Good guys, perfect. So can we choose them? Of course not. Yes, let's see number C. But sits with us. Oh, who is sitting with us? But, bravo. What is he doing? Sitting with us. Then, is it a complete sentence, guys? Yes. So, number six, right answer gonna be C. Bravo. Good guys. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's get to number seven. Number A, but gets. Do we know what does but get? No. Okay. So, B, many hugs. Okay, what about many hugs? 
We don't know, right? Okay. Can we choose them, guys? No. Okay, let's see number C. Bot gets many hugs. Oh, so who is getting many hugs? Bot, okay. What does Bot get? Many hugs. Oh, so is that a complete sentence? Yes, bravo, good guys. Okay, so the right answer gonna be C. Good guys. Okay, let's see number eight. You guys, try to solve this alone. I'll give you about two or three seconds to solve it. I guess it's easy now. Okay, so number A, Ahmed likes basketball. B, Ahmed likes. C, likes basketball. Of course, good guys. So A gonna be Ahmed likes basketball. Bravo, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Okay good guys so I guess now it's easy right okay next question is same as this question but just watch out for the words order we know that the noun or the subject who did the thing comes with at the first bravo and the verb comes with in the second place bravo in the object or the predicate comes with at the third place good guys okay and if it's a question again if it's a question okay the question word comes word at the first bravo then the second place comes what the subject good guys then the third comes what the verb bravo and the last thing in the question yeah is the thing that you are asking about right which is the thing you are gonna ask about good guys okay so let's see number one a the dog can run fast b do the can fast run c can dog the fast run yeah so number a gonna be the right answer yes good guys okay why did you choose that guys why did you choose it okay let me tell you we found the dog at the first of the sentence which is the one that is doing our verb right which is the subject right right Okay, at the second level, we found can run, which is the second place, right? Okay, at last, we found how is the dog running, right? Which is fast. So, the dog can run fast, right? So, is it a complete sentence? Yeah. Are the words order, right? Yes, they are. Good guys. Perfect. So, the, the right answer of one gonna be A. Good guys. Okay, number two. Choose the right complete sentence. My mom cool is B. My mom is cool. C. Cool is mom my. So, the right answer gonna be Yes. Number B. My mom, the subject at the first is at the second level or the second place cool at the last or at the end of the sentence right right so is it a complete right ordered sentence yes thank you so much perfect let's get to number three a he sat on hell a he sat on a hell he hell sat on Ah. Yes, good guys. So he sat on a hell. Good guys. He is the subject. So comes with at the first. Okay. And the verb. Bravo. Sad. Comes with at the second. And on a hell, which is the predicate or the object, comes with 
at last good guys bravo okay so the right answer gonna be number B okay number four this is a question do you remember the form of the question yes now let's apply a do you like you bug my question mark B do you like my bug question mark C do bug like my you yes perfect the right answer gonna be B do you like my bug question mark do which is the question word comes at the first you which is the subject comes word at the second verb comes word at the third my bug which is the thing you're asking about right comes word at the last of the question good guys bravo so the right answer gonna be b yes good guys okay number five i apples red like b i like red apples c like i apples red yes of course number b i like red apples bravo good guys now you know the basis right and can apply good guys bravo so number six choose the right complete sentence a my pumpkin is big b my big is pumpkin c big my pumpkin is So the right answer gonna be A. Perfect. Good guys. Perfect. Okay, let's get to number seven. The leaves orange or B. The orange leaves or C. The leaves or orange. Bravo. The right answer gonna be C. Good guys. The leaves are orange. Okay, now let's get to number eight. A. Do you like fall there? B. Do you like the fall? C. You do fall like that? Question mark. So, this is a question. Remember the question form and apply it on your head. Huh? Which is the right answer? Yes! Good guy! Good guys! Good guys! Good guys! So, the right answer is going to be number b bravo do the question word comes at the first you as the subject comes at the second like which is the verb comes at the third place the fall which is the thing you're asking about which is autumn of course guys right right so do you like the fall question mark good guys so the right answer is gonna be number b good guys perfect all of you were awesome today okay so now we've come to the end of our session today so see you safe and sound next time later